Could USF football leave the friendly confines of the Ray J for a new home on campus? Well, the school is reviewing a new study that sheds some light on its football future. Den Investigates' Noah Pransky broke this story on WTSP.com earlier today, and no other consultant suggested being bold. The suggestion was basically go big or go home, USF. <laughs> right now, the, you know how it stands, Raymond James Stadium. It lacks a little bit of that traditional collegiate football feel. But until the school is ready to build a state-of-the-art stadium on campus, which could cost $240 million, the suggestion is the Bulls should stay right where they are. That's from a just-released study commissioned by USF aimed at building a better football experience for both students and alum. Now, the report said a new football stadium on campus is financially feasible right now, but with the school's limited booster donations, they couldn't really fund the kind of stadium USF would be proud of. So while Raymond James has its drawbacks, an NFL caliber experience is a pretty good fallback that the school will likely lean on well into the next decade. I spoke to USF's new athletic director, Michael Kelly, today, who told me he agreed with the research and input from students, alumni, and ticket holders. The feedback also says if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right, and that's going to take more steps in the process. For, for me, we have to first better fund our uh, athletic budgets as a whole, so we've got to create revenue source for that. We have to build the U.S. football center, and then we can look at this as an aspirational goal. So he mentioned the USF Football Center there. The school's trying to raise funds right now for a new $40 million facility to help recruit the best talent. Kelly says that could make the team better, then get USF into a bigger conference, and ultimately create a lot more opportunity to raise revenues. But only then could they afford a grand new stadium, likely smaller than these renderings we'll show you right here. Only 35,000 seats looking at. Now it looks something like Colorado State's new home, which cost $240 million. Now a lot of you have been asking me online what this will cost taxpayers. Unlike the area's professional stadiums, USF says this would be donor-based. And for that reason, it won't be happening anytime soon. We've got a lot more about the stadium study on WTSP right now. You can also find it on my Facebook page. And of course, you can contact me directly. Noah Pransky, 10 Investigates.